Good morning, namaste. Uh, my name's Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance, some healing guidance for Friday, the 19th of April. So that means I'll be using my healing energy cards. I'll be picking one for Friday. I've also got my drum here, so I'm going to be playing the drum. So I feel this is more important than than pulling some car, oracle cards for Thursday. What day is it? <laughs> is it Friday? It's not Friday. It's Thursday. <laughs> okay, I'm back in a time warp. Why did I think it was Friday? I have no idea. Anyway, I think it's Thursday then the 19th. Or is it Friday the 19th? Oh my goodness, let me check my thing here. Thursday the 19th. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> Guidance for Thursday the 19th of April um, is why I'm here. So I'm just doing some smudging to begin with. Um, if you're struggling at this time, if you've put a call out for help, um, if you're stressed out, grieving, um, uncertain, feeling that you need some support then I trust that this has come at the right time for you so take some deep breaths while we do a bit of smudging if you can't stay for the whole time please um, come back and connect with the replay later but just um, pause if you can and take some nice big deep breaths and just think about breathing in the new air and breathing out the old air and really surrendering that old stuff detaching from the stuff that you've been dealing with that's occupying or consuming you right now and allow yourself to let it go breathe it out and away so imagine this sacred smoke washing over your body and carrying with it everything that's holding you back currently doesn't matter what it is whatever's holding you back be willing now in this moment to surrender it Breathe it out and away. And then fill up that space where that energy was with that new air that was coming in. We ask that this sacred smoke carry away all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks and attacks. That we allow ourselves to let go. To let it go. be willing to surrender okay I'll just put this stick out hello Frank hi Leanne is it just me or is it going from dark to light <laughs> yeah I think it's when I move or something <laughs> maybe not uh, when I think my phone sort of focuses on different parts and then it makes things change <laughs> so it will just be my phone and the Sun I think it's quite close there behind my head so that would also be affecting the light and dark but there is a lot of illusion playing out right now so a lot of duality a lot of light and dark energy a bit of a kind of battle going on if you like so it's probably part of that too hi Ryan hi Lisa hi CJ so Thursday not Friday which I've put in my video I'll change that when I've finished Thursday the 19th of April is why I'm here <laughs> well actually I'm here to share some guidance for now um, but mainly that would be Thursday so what I'm going to do is use my healing energy cards because I'm inspired to create a healing space today uh, rather than guidance per se <laughs> so I'm going to pull a card for Thursday the 19th of April and for this moment and then I'm going to talk a bit about whatever comes up and then we'll I'm going to play the drum and hold the space with the drum so uh, I trust that you've been led here for a reason as always just take on what resonates with you and let the rest go this is a guide only um, I've been reflecting lately and feel that in my opinion I've been coming across a little bit too forceful so I just want to re-emphasize that everything I share is a guide only and I'm just sharing my truth and um, my experience and whatever I'm intuitively guided to share 
um, it's always up to you whether you take that information or not. Just because I say something that might be a strong truth for me doesn't mean it has to be a truth for you. So just take it or leave it. It is a guide only, okay? <laughs> So let's find the best healing energy card for Thursday the 19th of April for this moment. Whenever you're connecting, whether it's live or later, I trust that you're watching in connection with this for a reason. So we'll go with this card. These are the healing energy cards. And we've got card 22, healing hands. Perfect. It says here... You have the ability to heal yourself. Or we could say, you have the ability to help yourself. Or we could say, you have the ability to support yourself. Ask your hands to fill up with healing light. Then place them where you are pained or on your heart to soothe and nourish. So we all have the ability to help ourselves, I feel. And if you're open to that, um, you know, be careful that you don't, you're not thinking that you have to have some certificate or pay a huge amount of money or any amount of money to activate your natural gift, which is your healing hands. So all you have to do is ask, just ask in your mind for your hands to fill up with healing light and then trust that they do. And my hands are starting to tingle and flow with energy already. So once you request that and you trust that they are flowing with healing energy, you can place them on your body where you might be pained. So a great place might be your heart or any area of your body where you're hurting right now. And it doesn't necessarily have to be physical pain. If you're struggling mentally or if you're struggling emotionally or if you're struggling in your life and you may not be feeling it necessarily in your physical body, you may want to place your hand lovingly on your heart and give to yourself. The more we crave our need, uh, the more we have a craving or a need to help other people, I've noticed the more that we need to turn that around to help ourselves. So one great way to do that is to um, give this beautiful healing energy that comes out of our hands into our body if we're open to that or if you're open to that so healing hands so we're talking about our ability to help ourselves and that's what this time is all about it feels not only activating our healing hands to help ourselves but to recognize that we can be here for ourselves and that all our life we gather tools and experiences and resources to help us in our moments and times of need. So if you're in a time of need right now and you may be kind of in a way wanting to give your power away to others by wanting them to help you, for example, or be there for you. I mean, sometimes that's necessary, but it's not always. If you've been projecting and wanting someone to come into your life to help you, or be there for you or whatever it might be um, I just ask you to perhaps look at that a little bit more closely and look at how you can turn that inward how can you be there for you how can you support yourself through your time of need especially calling upon those resources that you've gathered your whole life and even past lives and even moments when you haven't probably been in a physical earthy, bo earthly body. So we have the tools, we're gathering the tools every day to help ourselves when we need them the most. So let's remember we have them there. We seem to forget when we need them the most, which is always just a crazy human nature or something. <laughs> I don't know. I have to really, you know, when we need it the most, we have to really just remind ourselves that, hey, we have those healing energy cards or those instruments or those crystals or that herb or that sacred safe place to go to when we need it. So I like to make a list in my journal on the front cover, on the inside front cover, sorry, of all the tools that I've got available so that when I need them and I forget, I can refer back to my list and see what 
uh, what resonates with me at the time. Kimberly says, I'm scared to know my past lives. Well, that's not surprising. Not surprising at all, especially at the beginning when we're first opening to exploring the idea that we might have lived before. Usually what's loudest in those past lives are going to be what comes forward first. And what's loudest usually are our tragedies and traumatic experiences from our past. Being ripped apart from loved ones, loved ones leaving us, us leaving them perhaps through death or some other circumstance. So as we start exploring the past lives, the loudest, more painful ones usually come up first and it can bring a resistance or a fear because a part of us knows that there is something fearful that past fearful that we used to have around that that might be blocking us so you know the question i guess is 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 your fear louder than your desire to push through the fear are you going to let the fear of the past life which is probably what it's connected to take over or are you going to take some deep breaths and find courage to push through the fear the fear always wants it, us to think that it's louder than it really is. That's part of the fear's job, our ego's job, is to hold us back. So it makes the fear seem loud and scary, like a big scary monster, to try and keep us back from whatever's on the other side. So once we recognise the antics of our ego, or the fear which speaks through our ego, uh, then we can find the courage to push through it. So I'm going to play the drum now. I've got my, um, this is my personal drum. It's one of my big drums. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to move my microphone away in a moment because it doesn't pick up very well. The drum doesn't with the microphone. When it's close, it's very rattly, vibrates in the microphone. So I'm going to play that in a, in a minute. So as I play this, and I'd like to play it for five or 10 minutes really. I'd like to hold the space for a little bit here. Um, one, focusing around our card that I've pulled, healing hands, helping ourselves. So if you're open to the idea, you may like to ask your hands to fill up with healing light and place your hands on your body somewhere or on your heart and feel or become sensitive to the energy that's pouring out from your hands that you're giving to yourself. Perhaps think of this time as a time where you can give to you that's what I'd really love to create this space to be. So listen to the drum, allow it to hold you. Um, journey with it if you want to. Go on a little meditation if you'd like to. And allow the drum to touch you in parts of your body that may need healing or clearing at this time. So just trust in yourself, trust in what you feel you need and trust in your intuition. So there's nothing you can do wrong at the very least. Just listen. Let yourself be held or carried away with the sound and the vibration of the drum. So take some deep breaths. I'm going to unpin my microphone and put it way over there and uh, start playing the drum. So I trust you enjoy this drumming time for you.
Thank you. I trust you enjoyed that bit of drumming time. Beautiful. So I trust it held you in a space that's supportive for you. Um, don't forget, sometimes through helping ourselves, simplifying things can be helpful rather than uh, scrambling for uh, something to do to help ourselves. I mean, sometimes that is necessary, but other times I've found it's just stepping back and just being gentle with myself or treating myself uh, more gently than I have been. Sometimes that I find supportive enough just to stop beating myself up or stop being so hard or self-critical. So sometimes just backing off from that sort of treatment of ourselves and treating ourselves a little bit more gently can make all the difference. So perhaps that's something also to, to keep in mind if you're struggling at this time and you're looking at ways you can help yourself. So thank you. So our healing energy card, if you just joined in recently, as I was drumming was healing hands so I'm going to put this card back and I'm going to look for a card now that represents our forward movement from here so what do we know to move what do we need to know to move forward what do we need to know to um, transition now from this space that's been created into our everyday life what do we need to know as we transition from this sharing into our daily life let's see what do we need to know or do how are you all feeling trevor says i felt that all throughout my body and it was very calming and very clear clearly thank you thanks trevor jen says hi and thank you hi jen pamela says the drumming was wonderful thank you thanks pamela okay what do we need to know for our forward movement from here what's next this is for the majority of us so again this is a guide only if it resonates great if it doesn't then it doesn't matter our forward movement from here is to remember that I am expanding or that you are expanding in other words we can use we can replace the word expanding with some other words that may resonate more deeply for you so I am expanding I am growing I am transforming I am awakening I am changing I am improving um, just some words that come to mind so I am expanding I'll read this uh, this came up the other day when was it <laughs> I think when I was doing the healing events actually on Tuesday it says your I am is expanding. So your I am, we are, uh, other words we can use for your I am might be your essence, your soul, your being. So your essence is expanding, your soul is expanding, um, your being is expanding. Just some other words that we might throw in there instead. You can replace any words that are shared. Wow, <clears throat> I've got some energy shifting in my throat as I'm preparing to say this so there's truth that's being stirred up as I share for the collective for everyone that this resonates with your I am your soul your essence is expanding not your lower ego demanding or we could say not your fear not your limitations not what is holding you back that's not expanding your I am your essence is expanding if we break that sentence down <laughs> So let me just read it flat out without breaking anything down so you know actually what it says. It says, your I am is expanding, not your lower ego demanding. Open to the flow, third eye, heart and crown chakras, centered, balanced, colorful serpent. Allow unlimited opportunities into your life. So this talks about expanding from our limitations now. And that part of our forward focus now, our focus on what to do, what the next step is, is focusing on the expansion of our being rather than the demands of our ego or the demands of our uh, fear or our limitations. The card is card 43 called I am expanding. 
I am expanding. So let's allow ourselves to grow and it can feel uh, or can seem like we're not making much progress in times like this when there's a lot of illusion playing out and a lot of truth that's playing out as well and there's kind of in some ways an illusionary battle that's playing out and we might feel like we're in the middle of a battlefield at this time um, and we may even get the wounds um, energetically or even physically to show for that. So there is a battle playing out, um, the ego, our illusionary self, our lower self is very loud at this time in general for some of us. Some of us, like for me, I keep, I'm continuing to feel like I'm, I'm riding and flow, flowing and flying above this, above as in vibration, not as in that I'm better than anyone else. I just feel like I'm in a really good space right now. You may also feel like you're in a good space, so keep holding that space. But a lot of people are going through an illusionary battle and we're being guided to focus on the truth, focus on the expansion of our being and our soul rather than the demands of our ego or the demands of our fear or the demands of the battle, the demands of the illusion, the duality, the black and white that's playing out, the separation that's playing out. That's all part of this illusionary battle that's taking place that some are very much are very much amongst at this time so our guidance for our next step and forward focus from here is to focus on the expansion of our being what is working focus on the truth the love that's available um, giving and receiving in love and joy rather than the demands of our ego the demands of our hurt and pain the demands of our fear so we are growing, we are growing, we are improving, things are improving even if it seems chaotic, even if it seems like we just don't know which way's up, which way's down, which way to go, we might feel very scrambled and upside down like we're tumbling around in a washing machine, that's part of the illusion. So what we need to remember is that we are growing, things are improving even though the illusion may be quite loud right now. So I'll leave that with you. I trust it resonates. I am expanding. And it might be a great affirmation to use. I am expanding or I am growing. I am transforming. I am awakening. I am improving. I am loving. So and it's some simple things like affirmations or something to dedicate time to each day can help pull us out of those crazy chaotic times my lifeline this month and being in a heightened space and a calm balanced space all month um, day 19 now is since the 1st of April I decided to dedicate every day in some way to connecting in with or feeling joy and to me joy feels very simple and basic and doesn't feel complicated even the word itself is very basic and simple and focusing on that in some way each day in a personal way for me has been my lifeline throughout this whole month. I have not felt any ounce of being caught up in illusion at all. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying that I'm thinking that I'm better than anyone. I'm just saying that I feel on reflection for me personally that that has been a lifeline that has helped me stay above the drama and the chaos and been pulled in by the challenges this month so far it's working so sometimes a simple focus or a simple dedication like daily dedica uh, daily meditation or an affirmation that you really resonate with that speaks to you that you focus on embodying that every day in some way or even just for a minute in that day and then make another dedication that next day and see if that helps hold you through these these times so thanks for joining me today. Today I've used my healing energy cards. Um, these are great tools to help support your self-healing on all levels. They've been completely created by me. 55 cards in this deck too. And you can learn more about them on my website at templeofbalance.com.au if you want to. Um, <laughs> we're about to... Corey and I, my daughter is not coming, so Corey and I are about to enjoy a couple of days 
going bush. We're actually about to head out in about an hour. We're going um, camping and into the wilderness, pretty much. Um, quite wilderness, although I'm <laughs> not not completely wilderness. But uh, so basically, I won't be here again now till Monday. Um, I might pop in every now and then with a nice photo of nature or something. But uh, I'm feeling that I need to step back. So I'm going to honour that and trust that everyone will be fine while I step back. So um, there's going to be a delay in emails. If you email us over this next few days, um, there will be a delay in emails. And if you order anything through the website, it will be going out on Monday. If you've ordered before now, it will be going out shortly. So just so that you know. Um, so... I look forward to connecting with you when I get back. If you want to learn more about the work that I do, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. I just saw that Joseph said to watch out for snakes. Um, I think we'll be pretty safe. It's pretty cold at the moment we're heading into winter and uh, it's quite a cold place our, most of our snakes are black um, that's kind of how cold or cool it gets um, they're quite black so they can soak up more of the heat from the sun so I think would be would be pretty safe for snakes but thank you uh, plus I'd be excited to see a snake if I did anyway I, I feel that would be really exciting not that I want to be bitten by one but I would be really excited to see a snake on my path in fact you know I when I do go into the bush whether it's just for a walk for an hour or so or whether I'm going camping I do pay attention to the animals that cross my path um, so I'm going to be extremely attentive and um, it's going to be great really looking forward to it this will be our last camping trip until spring because it's starting to get a tad cold overnight so we'll see how my body copes <laughs> in the cold temperatures overnight but I mean it's only just getting down to below 10 degrees celsius now of a night so I don't want it to get much colder for camping and I yes I certainly will take some photos and I don't know if I'll have reception so I may pop in with a photo as I'm going or I might just share them when I get back I'll see how I feel so thank you so much for joining me have a fantastic few days and I'll do my best to be back on Monday to share some guidance um, be well and I trust you have enjoyed our time together today so sending you lots of love from my heart to yours namaste Thank you.